Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sarah Bo. I'm a singer songwriter and college student at Ohio State and today I'm bringing you a try on thrift haul. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> I'm really excited to bring you this video. I actually made a couple purchases on Black Friday through other sites, so I have another call coming after this. But I've gotten some amazing thrift finds throughout this past school semester, as well as I had one really big trip recently at my hometown place that really just inspired this. So I wanted to show you everything I've been getting. So it's very collective. Some of it's from like Columbus area, some of it's from up by the lake area where I am. Um, it's all from Midwest Ohio though, so. I cannot wait to show you the stuff I have um, and I'm really excited about it, so let's get into it. The first thing I have for you is actually something I'm wearing. <laughs> so, um, this is a Mackinac Island crew neck. It's a 2XL. This is oversized in relation to me. Um, it could be normal sized on another normal body. I've never been to Mackinac Island. I'm a bit of a poser. I personally have the Ohio superiority complex. Anything in Michigan must be a little bit worse. No offense to my Michigan people. I'm sure you think the same about me. But basically, I go to like the Lake Erie Shores and Islands, so I'm used to those. But this is so cool, and it's just such a lovely, like, heavyweight, like, quality sweatshirt. I'm pretty sure it's pretty old, but it's got this cool patch on the back. I'm just obsessed with it. So this is my Mackinac Island crew neck. It's one of my favorite finds, and I've been wearing it a ton recently. We'll just keep with the crew neck since we're on it. I actually found this one prior to the Mackinac Island one, so um, they're kind of the same, but I, it's whatever. Also oversized on me, this is a 2XL as well. It's just this Nike Air hoodie. It's embroidered. It's got the nice high crew neck. It's almost halfway between a traditional crew neck and a mock neck. It's kind of an older style, so I really like it for that reason. This one was from a Columbus Goodwill. This one was from Hometown Goodwill, but Regardless, I wear them both all the time and I love them. Don't have a boyfriend to steal sweatshirts from, so this is like my solution to that. Okay, next, I'm getting something kind of boring out of the way just because like this is so standard, but it's just a white collar t-shirt. I know everybody's been thrifting these right now. Again, this is oversized on me. It's extra large men's. Just a white collar t-shirt, something that like your history teacher would wear or something, but I'm excited to try this under crew necks. I'm also excited to try it as like a dress, Carrie Bradshaw style. Definitely a lot of opportunity here. Literally the blankest slate of all blank slates, so um, good stuff. The next thing I have is this green Talbot's cardigan. I actually have two of these now, so I thrifted another one for a Halloween costume. I kind of left the Halloween costume stuff. It was all thrifted, but I'll put a picture here. Um, yeah, I left that at school, but I do have the green one with me because I got this one up here. They're the same exact cardigan. Cardigans are kind of very in right now. This one's more fitted on me because it is a medium, so it's interesting to see how I'll style this. I'm not really sure, but I want to figure it out, and if it doesn't work for me, I'll just give it to one of my friends that it's like more oversized on. I love it, and I'm really excited about it, and... I don't know, I'm just very into pastels right now, so I think it's very cute. Speaking of, I have another cardigan. This one's a 1X, so it is a bit more oversized on me. This one's from Cable Engage. I have not heard of this brand. I thought this would be really cute. I honestly might crop it, but I'm a little nervous that if I do, it's gonna fray a bunch, so I'm gonna talk to my stepmom because she knows a little bit more about like sewing and textiles, so. I don't know how I'm gonna style it. I'm gonna figure it out, but I think it'll be very cute, okay? So just trust. Um, I'm really trying to get more into fashion this year. I really want to put like effort into my looks in 2021. So that is kind of the goal there. We'll go with a few pants now. So the first pair I found is a pair I used to have something similar to, but these are like the upgraded version. <laughs> so these are stretchy waists. Hounds too. Straight cut pants. My old ones used to be like more of a skinny fit. These are straight cut, which I love. I know these are gonna look good with docs, but I also think they would be good like business professional pants. I'm a marketing student, so always looking for things like that. I've actually thrifted most of my business professional clothing because I just, it's so easy to find stuff sometimes. So I'm like, 
you might as well. There's no point in like buying new clothes if there's all these other clothes that are perfectly fine. I've also always been a fool for houndstooth, so it kind of just makes sense for me to have them. So the next thing is something you probably could predict if you've been watching anybody's thrift hauls recently, but um, this is a large navy blue men's sweater vest. They're being sold everywhere now, like Princess Polly was selling sweater vests, and I was simply confused because there are so many at thrift stores. Y'all do not buy a brand new sweater vest. I promise you we're getting overcharged. Unless you really can't find one, but I would wager that you probably could. So, yes, I found this one. It's chaps, which means it's like actually kind of nice. It's got the nice chaps logo. I feel like a private school boy um, from one of the suburbs that I always meet and fall for and then they're kind of awful. But next up is another basic. I love when I am able to find basics at the thrift store because again sustainability and often you can find pieces that are kind of high quality because they've stood the test of time. Got this St. John's Bay turtleneck. Is St. John's Bay a Walmart brand? It might be, I don't know. Either way, it's a men's medium, so it's gonna be like fitted probably on me. It's just a really nice turtleneck. Like the fabric's really nice. I don't see any pilling. Um, it is 100% cotton, and I just think it'll last really long. Again, I think this is a good thing to layer under crew necks. I also think it's a good thing to put under sweater vests. Layering, so in right now. Next up, kind of an odd find. Um, not as odd as the next find I will show you, but it was backwards. A windbreaker sweater vest. This is an Ohio State. One, it's a men's medium. Really excited about this. Obviously, game days were like really weird this year, so I didn't get a chance to wear much of my Ohio State stuff. But next year, hopefully, I will be able to do that. So I'm very excited about this piece. It looks super warm, but also it's like trendy, which is kind of cool. It's just really well made and I really like it. I like the little stripe details on the side. This is embroidered, which is really cool. So very excited to wear this next year for game day. Um, hoping things go well. Staying on the sweater vest train, and just hear me out on this one. Hear me out, I think it's really cool. You might think it's ugly, but I just, I know. It looks like something a six-year-old English teacher would wear. Regardless, I mean, obviously, I think it's very cool. It's got this triangle banner and felt. It's got a little megaphone, cool like plaid all over it. It's got some footballs, lock O, and then of course, our guy Brutus on the back. I think I'm gonna sew these buttons back on. They are little block O's, but I might just find different buttons. Yeah, I'm kind of an amateur gorilla stitcher, if you didn't know. Pretty good at it. No, I'm not, but um, I've altered like two things in the past, so this could be the third. Still have quite a few things left, but the next thing, are they not so cool? So they're these brown plaid pants. They have little green and orange um, bits to the plaid, and they're super wide-legged. Very, very cool pants. They also have these buttons at the top. So again, these are like style pants, but also could be business pants if I dress them up the right way, which is really cool. I just love, I'm obsessed with these and I'm really excited to have them. So I got these in my hometown and they are really cool. They're a size 10. And then these ones are a size 12 Kirby. So just so you know, I mean, thrift sizes don't really make sense um, because things are from different years. But then again, like women sizes in general never tend to make sense. So not really sure what size I am at this point. Um, but <laughs> these are some Ann Taylor pants. I was really, really excited to find these. They're more of a straight cut. They definitely crop a good amount towards the bottom, but also I'm five, six and a half. So it's like, I'm kind of on the taller end of women. So yeah, hard to say, but they are very cute and they're a nice basic to have, again, for a business professional, but also for just styling purposes. On my first day of work, um, before I knew the dress code was like jeans and a t-shirt, I wore these with a turtleneck and then some um, Air Forces and I just thought it was like very, very simple, but super, super cute at the same time. For sure, School of Business is just really getting to me and um, this is the result, all these dress pants. So the last clothing item I have to share with you, um, I have five purses to share, so <laughs> stick around. But the last clothing item is this Ralph Lauren shirt. I'm not sure what you call this style. It's got a built-in collar and then this is more like a knit almost sweatshirt like it's pretty thick but it's not 
as thick as a sweatshirt, not as thin as a t-shirt. Regardless, very cute. It's a 2X, so I can wear it as a dress. It's got the polo right here embroidered, and then it's got this really cool stripe that goes all the way around. I just think it's really fun um, and it kind of does the built-in collar like without doing any of the work. So it's very cool. Um, it's Ralph Lauren so I know it'll last a decently long time which is exciting and I just really like it. Lastly we're on to the purses. The first one is a bit younger but also very trendy because it's kind of Y2K. This is a Liz Claiborne purse. I definitely saw these in Kohl's unironically up to like 2012 but they have come back in style and consequentially have just been taken out of Kohl's. I see purses like this at Urban and like on Princess Polly and everything so I tried to emulate that by purchasing this guy and guess what he was around six dollars maybe. So the next ones are less on trend and more just fun things I found. I really like vintage purses and I kind of like decorating with them as well as wearing them. So I don't know what eras these are from, but they're definitely older. <laughs> so this guy is, I just have a feeling it's real. Um, it's this like clamshell. I can't even find a brand in here, but it just smells older. I just think it's so cool looking. Like, is that not really fun? And brown leather is so in right now that it's it's just perfect. I really like it. The next purse I have, it's this really cool beaded like clamshell bag. I love the beading on it. Um, it's just fun and I got this at a vintage shop for $8. The next one is a more recent find about a week ago at Goodwill. It's this little tiny, tiny black purse. I'm not sure who is donating all these purses to my local Goodwill, but I'm very grateful. <laughs> Look how cool that is. That just reminds me of like 20s flapper girl kind of deal. I, don't, I could be totally off on that. I need to research my purse fashion a bit more, I suppose. I don't know how much you saw get out of it just because it is so small, but it would be fun to take to day parties or something, so I might do that um, when we have those again. The last find is what I perceive to be the best find of all. I found this with tags attached, so I decided to look it up on Etsy because it looked kind of nice, and it said it was like $80. It's a Christiana purse. It even has the sequins in it and the old tags I just kept just in case. But I got it for $5.99 <laughs> and it is the most stunning purse I've ever seen. I definitely think some people might think, oh like that's gaudy, but I just think it's stunning. How could you? It's got this amazing beading detail. This top part, I genuinely feel like royalty just owning this. It's so cool. So I'm very obsessed with this. This purse is like my style wrapped up in one item. Definitely the coolest find. Had to end on that one. Um, I just absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it and I cannot believe that I found it at Goodwill. Who would give away this? <laughs> anyway. That is all I have for you today. I'll stop laughing at my own jokes. If you enjoyed, please comment down below. Let me know what your favorite thing I got was, or if you've been thrifting recently, let me know what your favorite thing you've gotten recently is, because I definitely wanna hear about you guys' thrift trips. Um, I hope I've inspired you to shop secondhand a little more. One of my biggest goals for 2021 is to style more outfits on my Instagram and Visco, so if you would like to see that, you can follow me at Sarah Bosetti on both. I definitely love posting there, so I would love if you checked it out. Happy thrifting. Hope you find some good stuff next time you go. Make sure you wear a mask, wash your hands, and be safe, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.